What's up everybody, it's Martian Comic Hunter coming at you with another video. So, today did a little dig in, um, I guess not really dig in, I went to a garage sale. And in this garage sale, they had posted uh, a listing of some comic books. So, uh, saw, saw the listing up on the web, um, saw that they had some comic books. Uh, listed didn't really know what to expect when I was going in there uh, to be honest with you anytime there's comic book listings They're usually 90 stuff or just stuff that you're not really interested in but decided to stop by anyways and um, Yeah was uh, pleasantly surprised as far as what um, I had or what I got uh, Saw this little run of Teen Titans um, and pretty much everything that you see here picked up for ten dollars so um, like I just didn't want to split the lot, I guess. He just wanted 10 for the Titans and then everything else I picked up for a dollar. So, uh, these next couple books, uh, Teen Titans, um, I did pick up as a lot on uh, number four, number five, uh, number six, seven, eight, nine. 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, and the reason why I wanted the lot uh, for 10 bucks uh, was really for number two. Uh, now, don't get it twisted. This is not a, um, I don't know, this is, this, this book is probably good maybe um it's kind of a reader copy uh but for 10 bucks i thought i'd pick it up i mean it goes for a couple hundred really so first appearance of deathstroke um thought it was a cool cover obviously a cool cover but uh just just a good price for 10 bucks so um why not um also in in there he had a flash 323 uh for a buck and I also picked up uh, a Death or Astonishing Tales uh, second appearance of Deathlock. So um, now again, guys, these are not by any means uh, near mint copies, but uh, for the price, you know, a couple bucks, I couldn't couldn't leave these behind. Paid a total of twelve bucks for for this little lot, so that was a good deal. Um, also went to a comic shop, uh, did a little digging, uh, picked up a couple books, so let's get into it. Uh, Savage Wolverine number six is a variant. Uh, this book really doesn't go for anything, to be honest with you. Just thought it was a cool old man Logan uh, Wolverine cover, so um, for a couple bucks, thought I'd pick it up. Also, as many of you guys have been digging into Ultimate X, um, didn't find number one. Did manage to find this beautiful number two uh, Arthur Adams um, cover. So, just a really cool cover. Just uh, clearly, he's becoming really, really popular nowadays. So, um, this one's no different. And also picked up this Vampirella number two. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, you know, QB Comic Addict, I love this one. He loves, um, as well as me, the Arthur Adams, kind of the side profile look. Uh, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover, man. Just love the way he draws, um, you know, his females. So, um, as you could see here and here, just very similar with the big eyes and the lips. So... And uh, big boobs, I guess. Also managed to pick up a couple um, Venomized covers. Uh, got these for cover, so uh, I know I'm a little late to the game here, but uh, for cover, I can I can leave it behind. Uh, picked up the the mighty uh, Captain Marvel and the vet. Uh, I'm sorry, the Venomized Deadpool. Um, also managed to pick up this Thor. Haven't seen this one um, in many hauls, but just a gorgeous uh, Michael Turner uh, Thor cover. Just looking 
just looking down at you just really love the way this looks if you just look at the profile of it it's just i mean it just it just captivates you as far as him looking down at you looking big and mighty so cool cover also picked up this um thor variant um don't know too much about this cover artist um his name is andrew robinson so um kind of a common name there um but if anybody knows about this guy just uh drop a comment uh just thought it was a cool cover um just love the painted look so um more and more i'm just really get into really getting into this painted um painted look so um not sure if my taste is changing a little bit or just the influence uh in, in everybody out there with the painted covers but uh this one's no different this is just a beautiful cover um marvel axis uh, number one, uh, this one is a Saya Um variant. Um, again, just another one of those painted covers. Um, I thought it was really cool. Um, you got Scarlet Witch, um, Medusa, and you got Storm uh, all on one cover. Um, really cool stuff. Also, finally picked up a Catwoman 51 oh man this thing is just you know you 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 appreciate this cover more when you have it in hand um, and just look at the depth perception in here along with just um, you know it just looks like she just had a bad night you know what I mean and just uh, uh, you know got into got herself into a little trouble so uh, Catwoman 51, um, just a gorgeous cover. You know, I've been on the hunt for this one, clearly like everybody else, but just haven't, I didn't manage to find one in a kind of a, a condition that I felt that I would pay uh, for. So, um, did manage to pick this one up. I uh, love this cover. Um, this one's in near mint, so um, had to add this gorgeous cover to my collection. Uh, speaking of gorgeous cover, um, here you have a Jorge Molina, uh, 1 in 50, uh, I'm not sure if this, yeah, 1 in 50, um, number 649, uh, just a gorgeous, uh, another one of those, uh, painted type artworks here, um, by Jorge Molina, um, just beautiful, beautiful cover, um, this one's all over the board as far as prices are concerned, some people want 50, some people want 100, some people want 200. I mean, it's just all over the place. Haven't really seen any really um, or a steady sold listing. So I'm not sure what to make of this book as far as price is concerned. Um, picked up a gorgeous Deadpool number one. Um, Korean cover um, so this one's this is just a gorgeous gorgeous cover um, you know Clayton Crane's got uh, you know just a little bit of a buzz right now so um, thought I'd join the hype um this one's just a badass cover uh, Venom number 13 uh, this is a variant cover to that just a lot going on in this cover. I think it's just one badass. Two, you got Ghost Rider. Um, you got the Hulk, uh, Red Hulk. Um, you got Venom on the top there, just guns blazing. Uh, and you got X twenty three. So, uh, lots going on on this cover. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. So, how to pick this one up? No brainer. Um, as a matter of fact, there's um, this circle, circle of four. Uh, there's a couple cool variants on there as well, so highly recommend you guys to search, uh, you know, your back back issues in the Venom. Um, see if you find any of these um, uh, variant covers. Also managed to pick up this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Superior Spider-Man number 19, J.J. Jones variant. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Just love the way... 
um, just you know how he's just ripping himself out of uh, out of himself, I guess, um, and just you know Spider Man coming at you. So uh, it's it's just a cool cover. And finally, uh, man, this this is just a beautiful beautiful cover. Um, the Fearless Defenders, uh, number four, um, by, uh, Stephanie Hans. Um, so, um, she's, she's, she's one of these artists that hasn't done too much work. Um, this one is a one in 50 variant. Um, there's currently nothing listed, um, on eBay right now. So, um, I don't know what to make of this book as well. Um, not too many uh, sold listings. There was a couple, um, you know, one for best offer. So I'm not really sure how much that was. And I think that's it. So I'm um, not sure what to make of this. I just love the painted artwork on, on this uh, on this cover. Um, but just a little, uh, not really history, just background on Stephanie Hans. Um, uh, she's known for you know her Batman run. Uh, she did a couple issues on on Batman uh, fourteen and fifteen, um, but I think the community better knows her for Drashir's comic and things, um, Black Widow, uh, number two variant. Um, so thanks to Drashir's, he's really hyped her up and uh, uh, kind of uh, introduced me to this artist. Uh, she also did a couple of Venomized covers. She did the Gamora and Swamp Thing. So uh, maybe you guys know her from, you know, those covers as well. But uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of artwork here. Just gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Um, love, love. Uh, really just, I guess all the blacks and the shadows in this in this book. It's just a, a super, super phenomenal cover. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um uh, you know, I haven't really done a haul for a couple of weeks. I think I got one uh, piling up for next week as well. So um, hope to see you guys soon.